All right, so I'm on like, uh, oh, about uh, probably year four now of using eco wood treatment for my beehives, our boxes. And um, I'm actually very impressed. So I'm continuing to use it. As far as I'm concerned, it's so much easier uh, than painting boxes. I think it's probably just as durable uh, as paint. And you actually treat the whole wood inside and out uh, the way that I do it. And uh, it's eco-friendly. It bothers the bees none at all. Uh, in fact, sometimes they'll come and drink out of it, <laughs> interestingly, um, the dip when you do it. So uh, it cost me, uh, for a mix that makes about five gallons, it costs me, I think it's 60 bucks for the treatment. And, uh, and uh, it's very easy to dip. Sometimes I'll double dip. I'll just do it twice after it dries um, if I have time. Although I don't really think you need to. So um, I put all my boxes together yesterday. Let them set for 24 hours. Um, they're glued, stapled. And now I'm going to dip. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So I mixed up my eco wood in here yesterday. And then as you can see, some of it has kind of uh, separated. So I'm just going to mix it like this. And then I use like, usually use large um, uh, storage totes. I don't have one available right now that's big enough. So what I'm gonna do is use this right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour this now in there. And I'll show you how I do it. All right, so um, I poured it in there and I grabbed my coffee. I gotta take a drink of coffee here. The coffee just makes bee work a lot better. And then I'm gonna go over here and get one of my boxes. So I'm gonna show you how I actually have uh, some bottom boards, inner cover, or bottom boards, top covers, and uh, these double screen boards that I'm gonna that I'm gonna uh, treat today. But the box, I'll show you how to do that. All right, and I don't even wear gloves when I do this. I mean, it wouldn't hurt, but so I'm just gonna set it down in there like that. Okay. And then I leave it for like 10 seconds. And then I will flip it here like that. Okay. And I'll go to the next side. Sorry. I'm my own cameraman today. Okay. Another 10 seconds or so. And then we'll go to the next side. Like that. I really like the way this looks. Um, it does weather, if you will. So it turns dark, but the wood lasts and it doesn't rot. So. Okay, so this box is really done. I don't need to do it again. I'm going to just kind of drain it off. And then I'm going to walk over here. And I'm going to set the box here. Like that. And I'm going to let it dry. And then I'll just stack them one on top of the other. So, let's go get another one. Well, let me show you how to do, like, the top covers and stuff. Grab a top cover. So we'll just stick that down there like that. And then I'll flip it over. Now, I'm experimenting. Normally, I would paint my top covers because of the exposure. I'm going to go ahead and I've got five of these. I'm going to go ahead and 
and uh, seems like I made a mistake here. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, <laughs> show you my mistake. I used staples that I thought were short enough, but actually they're slightly a little, they were slightly, well, just the right length, I guess. But anyway, it is what it is. So now I'm going to dip that in there like that. Oh, so anyway, what I was saying was uh, I'm going to experiment with this as a top cover to see how long they last. So just because uh, if I can get five years out of a top cover... Uh, with eco wood, then I'm just gonna roll with that. So, all right, just gonna let it drip off. I mean, you might as well let it drip off in there, right? And these, I can just kind of hang like that, and like that'll dry probably in uh, five minutes. I don't have any sun right now and there's no wind, so that might not work. But, um, and then like uh, these double screen boards, for example. Now these don't get terribly exposed and they definitely don't sit out all winter. So I'm just gonna do the outside. I'm not gonna worry about the inside portion of the double screen board. And I won't even spend a lot of time doing it. Don't go like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And I noticed there is some beading there, but what that is really is just rough lumber. So I don't worry too much about that. So anyway, I'm gonna do a bunch more boxes. And I just wanted to give you an idea how that works. That's that. All right. Set this over here. Like so. In fact, what I could do is just kind of put it across here and then put another box on top and then I'm done. So yeah, I mean, it looks really nice. Um, and I might double up today if I have time and just do it twice, but you don't really need to. So anyway, that's it. Have right, a great so day. So I just uh, wrapped up the remaining boxes. I did 10 boxes, probably did it in about 10 or 15 minutes. I mean, honestly, this stack here, like here's the first one I did right here and it's actually starting to dry. So you can theoretically use these boxes in an hour. And there's no sun out. It's really warm, but if the sun were out, these would be dry already. So um, this one over here, still a little moist, but uh, and you can see some beading up there on that. But uh, it looks really nice. The only place it doesn't look nice is where the guy who built the boxes left a bunch of excess glue and stuff. Kind of looks bad, and um, I can blame him because it's me. I'm the guy, and you know what? I don't really care it doesn't really bother me so yeah anyway that's the story personally do not understand why more beekeepers do not use this product i i why you want to take days to prime and paint your boxes and spend the money on that product when i just got 10 boxes done and ready in i don't know a matter of minutes and ready i mean i really could use that box right now that one on the bottom. So within an hour, I mean, these will all be ready to go. Uh, and you only have to treat once. You, I might go back and do it again just, just to do it. But uh, but really, I like I said, I don't understand the thinking behind not doing it, uh, to be honest. So uh, anyway, Eco Wood. Uh, I use the Tall Earth product. You find it on Amazon. Uh, I don't make any money off of them. Uh, in fact, I don't make any money off of YouTube. As you can see, I have about 500 and some subscribers. But uh, anyway, that's another story, I guess.
try it out eco wood and so oh my cat just uh video bombed my video but anyway here it is after a few hours everything's dry actually i double dipped everything except for those double screen boards i went back and double dipped these uh the boxes bottom boards and everything so good to go all done happy happy again try it out